We owe it to all the animals in our care to do everything in our power to help them live healthy, comfortable, and fulfilling lives. That is our guiding light here. Back in 2012, Shed welcomed a beluga whale calf named Kimalu. She was actually born in the middle of the night, around two o'clock in the morning. We should have known at that moment that Kimalu would be full of surprises. As she grew up with us, Kimalu demonstrated a really curious and sometimes silly nature, playing with the other belugas, exploring her surroundings, and forming bonds with her caretakers. Sometimes she would even be seen showcasing her impressive spitting ability to the delight of nearby guests. We've gotten to know Kimalu so well over the last 12 years, spending every day together, so her caretakers noticed right away when something changed. During her regular checkups, we could see some bumps or structures underneath the skin that we had never seen before. When Kimalu was a calf, we treated her for something similar, and it hadn't been a problem since. That is, until now. It was clear that these cyst-like masses were now causing her discomfort, so we decided to run some tests to get a closer look. While we took samples and looked at them under a microscope, we also needed to get a better overall picture of what was happening underneath. So we decided to perform a CT scan. It is definitely not easy to perform a CT scan of an aquatic animal that weighs over a thousand pounds, but we knew this technology would give us the most information to help inform Kimalu's care. We assembled a massive team of Kimalu's caretakers to minimize stress and guide her as quickly and comfortably as possible through the machine. The resulting images were a surprise. What we found was that Kimalu had developed a previously undetectable network of cysts behind her blowhole and on the top of her head and neck. Some of the cysts look harder and more mineralized, almost like bone, while others seem softer and more fluid. While we don't suspect cancer at this stage, we don't know exactly what led to the development of these cysts. What we do know is that they are causing her discomfort and they are growing, which threatens her health and long-term quality of life. We also know that treatments we used when Kimalu was a calf will not work on these new cysts. So we needed to come up with a new treatment plan. Taking an animal to surgery is always a difficult decision because there are inherent risks involved. But the information we have is telling us that removing these cysts is the best choice to help Kimalu. So next week, we will take Kimalu to surgery and we won't be alone. Our veterinary and care teams will be supported by some of the field's most accomplished surgeons and anesthesiologists who are coming from across the city and across the country to participate and lend their expertise. Kimalu could truly not have a better team in place to make this procedure a success. While in surgery, we are going to investigate and try to remove as many cysts as possible, targeting those that pose the greatest risk to Kimalu's health and well-being. We also anticipate that removing some of these cysts will provide Kimalu with immediate relief and greater comfort. Still, any time you sedate or anesthetize an animal, you run the risk that they may not recover. This is especially true for belugas because of their unique physiology as large, deep sea swimmers and voluntary breathers. In fact, there's only one documented case of a beluga undergoing anesthesia. And because this case is so unprecedented, we could do everything right and still be unsuccessful depending on what we discover. But we know that inaction is not an option for her best welfare and well being. This surgery will give Kimalu the greatest chance to continue to grow and thrive with us in the years ahead. Of course, we are nervous about what's ahead, but that's to be expected. But we are confident that we have the right team assembled and that this is the right course of action for Kimalu. We've had 12 incredible years with Kimalu, and we hope this procedure will allow us to enjoy many more. Thank you, and we'll share more with you as soon as we can.